Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you these gorgeous puzzles from the brand Apiece. Apiece are based in the US and they're both a woman-owned and minority-owned small puzzle company. And they very kindly asked me to pick out a couple of my favorite designs and sent them over for me to try out. So let's take a closer look at the two designs that I ended up choosing. So this first one's from last year's collection. Uh, it's 500 pieces, it's called Best Friends and it's by the artist Larry King. And I recently did this one over on Instagram. So if you wanna see lots of photos and close-ups of this one and also uh, read my thoughts on my experience, then definitely go check out those posts. And I actually got to chat with Larry, the artist, and we did a little mini collaboration over on Instagram as well. So definitely go check that out. It was a lot of fun and he's such a lovely guy and very creative and talented. So yeah, I really love this design. Um, just gorgeous and colorful, definitely my kind of puzzle. I love a good rainbow puzzle, but I love that this one's a little bit different with all these little panels and textures and shadows and it's actually inspired by a quilt that he handmade so yeah i think it's really cool but yeah i really loved it and if you are into rainbow and colorful puzzles like me then i would definitely recommend this one and then the other puzzle here which is the one uh, we're doing in this video is from uh, the current collection and it's 1000 pieces it's called a good southern woman by the artist phoebe joint or phoebe and again a very bold colorful design definitely my kind of style um, yeah, I really love how it's sort of very like graphic and bold and looks a bit sort of cartoony, stylized, posterized. There's like lots going on. So there's sort of like some realistic or I guess discernible uh, elements with like the woman's face and her hat and hair and things like that and cactus plants and roses. But it's also quite abstract with lots of like overlaying colors, patterns, lines. So there's like a lot going on, but it looks really interesting and it's very eye catching and Kind of tells a bit of a story i think so yeah i think this one's going to be a lot of fun to do and um yeah i don't know how tricky it's going to be like it's got a lot of very bright sections so i'm thinking it's going to be kind of maybe easy to sort but yeah i don't know um but yeah definitely really looking forward to it so i think uh without further ado let's go uh, unbox it and have a look at the pieces and then of course put it together Let's take a look at the packaging. So the box itself is made from a sort of softer cardboard, so you can squish it a little bit, but it still feels quite strong. And the feel is really nice. It's that sort of soft touch finish or like a soft silicon feel. Yeah, really nice and seems to be completely matte from what I can tell. So if we move this around in the light, it doesn't really seem to pick up much or any glare or sheen. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, and I just wanted to quickly show you the difference uh, with the Best Friends puzzle box uh, because these two are from different collections. This one's from this year's collection and Best Friends is from last year's collection. So the box itself, the look is quite similar. I think they're pretty much the same size and still that sort of soft cardboard, but this one has a different finish to it. It doesn't have the matte uh, soft touch. It's got uh, a kind of like subtle linen texture or cross hatch kind of texture. Um, and it's, yeah, it's not matte. But yeah, still feels really nice. I'll see if we can get some sh like light on it. There we go. So hopefully you might be able to see a bit of the texture there showing up. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, so they're just a little bit different. And I'm pretty sure the pieces for each are similar to whatever their box is. So I think these ones, the pieces will have like a soft touch finish. I guess we'll confirm that shortly. And I think these ones will have more of that linen texture finish. So yeah, just thought I'd show you the difference there. So back to this one, let's have a look at all the details. So the front of the box got a lovely uh, big image here. I believe that's the whole image, lovely and bright and colorful. And then up here, we've got jigsaw puzzle, 1000 pieces. We've got the a piece logo, nice and large there. We've got the name of the puzzle, a good Southern woman. And we've got the artist name, Phoebe joint, Phoebe. And let's have a look at what's on the sides. So on this side, going this way, we've got a piece and then we've got a section of the image. We've got the name of the puzzle and, and the, the name of the artist. And then uh, this way, on this side, we've got 1000. We've got a section of the image again and we've got the piece logo again. And then over here, we've got uh, a big section or a blown up section of the image. And we've got this strip here 
and we've got the name of the puzzle, name of the artist, and nice big version of the a piece logo. And then finally on this side, we've got a piece puzzle project, uh, a mini version of the puzzle image, a barcode, and some other code, which I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing it's just like maybe referencing this particular puzzle or something, but I guess it's not too important for us. And then let's look at the uh, reverse side. So we've got a lovely big section here with text that tells you all about the artist. So I'm not going to read all that out, but if you want to, you can always pause the video and have a read through. Um, but yeah, I really like that that's included though. So that's yeah, really nice that it's very artist focused like that. Then we've got some logos down here. So we've got Made in the USA, we've got Eco-Friendly Product, Woman Owned, Minority Owned, and 1% for the Planet. And then over here, we've got a lot of info as well. We've got the size, approximately 20 inches by 27 inches and 49 centimeters by 68 centimeters. We have a little choking hazard warning, not for children under three years. Then we have what the puzzle's made from. So made from recycled cardboard, printed with plant-based inks, packaged with only recycled, recyclable, renewable, reusable, biodegradable and compostable materials. So yeah, that's very cool. And we've got a nice big logo here, a piece puzzle project. And we have a QR code here. And if I remember to look up where that goes, I'll let you know where that is on the screen. And then we've got the a piece uh, website and we've just got a little copyright down here as well. Uh, or actually it says at 2023 a piece enterprises LLC. So let's open this up and see what's on the inside. So on the inside of the top of the box, it's just a sort of simple uh, cardboard. So yeah, nice. And then we do have info around the sides, but before we read that, I'll just uh, look at these and take these out. So we've got a couple of little leaflets here. Um, so it just shows you some of the designs available, including this one and the names of them there and a bit of info about a piece here, like their sort of contact. And then on the back, it says a piece. Thank you so much for supporting the, this super small business. Happy puzzling. Um, and it tells you uh, if you've got any missing pieces, they can help. And uh, for more info about replacement pieces, you can visit them there. Um, and then, yeah, just a little printed on 100% recycled paper made in the USA. So, yeah, it's cool. And then we have another one like that as well. So some other designs here. And again, just sort of the contact info and what the designs are called. And here uh, it says a piece. So happy that you are one of the first a piece customers. Amazing people that you are helping this tiny business grow. Thanks a million for choosing a piece. Hope you enjoy this puzzle. And again, printed on the printed on 100% recycled paper made in the USA. So yeah, nice little inclusion there to see what other designs are available and a little thank you. Yeah, really nice. And then we've got a bag of our pieces and actually the bag is, it says it's compostable. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so I like that even though it's a plastic bag. I don't think you could really reuse it much though because it is it is quite thin and um, but that's okay because it looks like we have another bag in here. But yeah, nice that it's a compostable one. So yeah, a bit more eco-friendly. So we'll look at, open those up and look at them shortly, but it looks nice. And then, oh, I said actually we were going to look at what's around the side of the box. Okay, we'll look at that last. <laughs> Otherwise all this stuff's going to go everywhere. Um, so yeah, we actually have in here a nice little kind of cotton feeling bag and it's got a piece puzzle project printed on there. And yes, nice and has a little drawstring here so yeah it's a nice inclusion and then yeah 100 percent cotton growing sewing in the usa so yeah a nice little bag to put your pieces in uh, after you're done with this one so that's cool and then looks like we've got yep we've got a um it's got like the piece logo on it it's a little puzzle lid stand so you can stand up yeah your puzzle box if you want to use that as the reference image that's got like the instructions there so i think you Oh yeah, it's got little lines here. I don't know. Yeah, you can fold it along here and then yeah, put in the lid. So yeah, it's nice to have that option. And then it looks like we've got a poster as well. So yeah, we've got a pretty nice size poster. It looks like it's about A4 or a little bit bigger. But yeah, the colors are lovely and bright and you can see all the details quite well. And then it just says printed for a piece on 100% recycled paper made in the USA has the name of the artist and the uh, image. And then actually on the back, we've got 
uh, all those logos again um, and a few more actually and the a piece contact and we have that uh, info about the artist again too so kind of nice to have it on the box and also on the back of the poster like that so yeah it's cool all right so now that I remember let's look at what's on the side of this box so yeah the inside is just plain cardboard as well but we've got a bit of info here so we've got a piece puzzle project nice and big there and then we have one percent for the planet um, I guess APP a piece puzzle project and then it has uh, made from recycled cardboard printed with plant-based inks packaged with only recycled recyclable renewable reusable biodegradable and compostable materials and an eco-friendly product and then we've got the same as the other side a piece puzzle project and we've got made in the USA a piece puzzle project so there you go all right so I think we've looked at all the info now and checked out everything that, that was in here but let's take a look at the pieces I've poured all the pieces out and they're looking really nice and colorful yeah really pretty and they also feel really good too so let's grab one and take a closer look so I've got this one here so the back is just a nice uh, gray board like a nice plain cardboard yeah really nice nice and simple no extra paper or anything and then the thickness is kind of medium to thick yeah so it feels really good uh, feels quite sturdy and strong as well so that's great it's not at all flimsy and then the surface is just like I suspected it's the same as the box that sort of soft touch or soft silicon feel so yeah feels very luxe very nice and it's also pretty much completely matte I think so if I move it around there's very little sh uh, sheen or glare on it so that's great means you're not going to have any like kind of sheen spots when you're puzzling and also if you're taking photos or video uh, that'll make it easier for you as well so yeah really nice definitely looking forward to puzzling with those and then as for the piece shapes they're a little bit different so they are not your traditional kind of classic piece shapes although there are some in here that kind of resemble that but they definitely look a bit irregular so that's exciting so uh, let's pull some out so we definitely have like I said there are some in here that kind of resemble uh, I guess some of your more traditional piece shapes which I'll, I'll show you here so if we oh, oh, okay if we look at these ones you know they look pretty sort of standard and pretty normal what we're kind of used to seeing with like the two tabs one tab three tabs that sort of thing but we also have a bunch of very interesting shaped ones as well so I'll see if we can find some interesting shapes oh yep definitely some interesting ones in here uh, we even have ones that sort of have similar tabs to the others but are a little bit quirky in their shape Let's see what fun ones we can find to show you um, all right so here's just some here you can see they're pretty interesting shapes very uh very quirky so yeah that's going to be really fun to puzzle with I, with, I think um, and also it could be a little bit challenging just because uh, I guess like it's a lot more predictable uh, in figuring out like what piece shape goes next when you've got like traditional cut pieces but when you've got irregular shapes sometimes it can be a little tricky or, or just like a fun challenge really just trying to figure out what might go next so yeah that's pretty cool but I, I quite enjoy doing irregular piece shape puzzles. I don't do them that often. So it's a bit of a fun challenge for me. So yeah, definitely looking forward to it. And I also feel that uh, with irregular shapes, there seems to be less chance of getting false fits just because it tends to be a bit more variety in the piece shape. So yeah, I'll be interested to see if that's the case with this puzzle as well. I mean, obviously your puzzle image plays into that as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so the only other things to mention about the pieces uh, my hands don't really feel too dusty at all and there wasn't really any dust that I could see left in the bag and I haven't really seen any signs of lots of dust or anything but I'll let you know what the dust situations like later on um, and I haven't really seen any damaged pieces either I don't think so yeah nothing stood out but if I see anything noteworthy I'll let you know later on um, but yeah so apart from that I think that's everything about the pieces so let's take a quick look at the uh, poster and talk about 
uh, how I'm going to put this together. So I'll probably be doing it, or I will be doing it this way uh, on my puzzle board just because it's easier for me to reach. Um, that's what I tend to do with portrait 1000 piece puzzles just because they're too tall for me otherwise or I have to spin them around so I just do them sideways. Um, but there looks like there's lots of stuff going on all over the image but especially around the border as well so I think we can easily do the edges first so we can definitely pull all those out and then after that there's like so much going on but there's also some very distinct colors and patterns here too so we have like some pretty distinct pinks so I can probably pull those out we've got like blue polka dots over here so hopefully they might be easy to identify um, even like this red or the red and white here hopefully we might be able to tell uh, those pieces apart and even like the green so we can pro oh and the brown like wood here like if I pull out a piece oh yeah like this one straight away uh, I can tell pretty easily that that's the rose part of the roses down here and then I don't know if we grab this okay like this yellow and black stripy one I'm guessing that's probably probably part of her hair here so yeah it looks like some parts should be pretty easy to identify um, but some parts also look a little tricky like these clouds here and here um, and there's all little I don't know other little odds and ends going on so some bits might be a bit trickier than other bits but yeah it looks really fun I love how colorful this is um, so I don't think I have anything else to say except uh, let's get puzzling
All right, I'm back and I'm about halfway through the puzzle or maybe a little bit further. And I really love how it's looking. It's so fun and colorful, really just bold and vibrant. I love some of these very pretty pastel colors and then these like splashes of brighter colors, like lots of pops of bright colors and fun patterns and like different sort of textures going on. Yeah, it's really cool. Love this style of artwork. and. Yeah, it's definitely a me kind of puzzle and artwork, so really love it. And it's been a lot of fun to piece together. It's also been a little bit challenging. So to get to this point, it's taken a bit over four and a half hours. And yeah, I found it pretty tricky so far. So that's for a couple of reasons. One is one reason I kind of expected, which was the irregular piece shapes. So as you can probably see, we've got lots of interesting little shapes going on here some yeah funky funky shapes um, so it's been a little bit tricky trying to guess like what shape uh, piece will go next when you're like doing a section like sometimes you can kind of look at a, a area and be like okay i guess it might have two tabs or three tabs but not necessarily it could have some funny little thing like this on it that you're not expecting um, yeah or it could be could be two pieces that sort of make up like what looks like one piece, things like that. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky, um, but it's kind of like a fun challenge trying to, you know, wrap your head around it and uh, kind of expect the unexpected when it comes to piece shapes, I guess. So I've definitely been enjoying it, but yeah, for sure it's been tricky. Um, and then I guess the other thing that's uh, making this a bit more challenging as well is that even though the image has lots of bright, colorful sections, they're actually quite abstract. So there's like, you know, splashes of color and shapes going on in lots of places like sort of unexpected things and overlapping colors and things like that so you know sometimes if you just grab a piece looking at it you're like i have no idea where this goes like you, maybe you can find the general section but the pieces look quite abstract when you're looking at them um, and also a lot of pieces as we can see along here they share a lot of the same colors and kind of uh, patterns and characteristics so yeah, a lot of it's a bit of a piece shape guessing game rather than trying to find like a distinct piece. Um, and that in itself has been a little bit tricky because when I first started sorting this puzzle, you probably saw in the video, I sorted into piles of color, which is, that was good. And then I'd grab a pile that I wanted to work on and spread all the pieces out. But at first uh, that I found that quite tricky because my brain couldn't really interpret like all this chaos in front of me. So I actually sort of found myself sorting things a bit more like this in like little lines just straightening out all the pieces a bit so they're either like vertical or horizontal so i could sort of see them better instead of just being spread out everywhere in chaos and i found that a lot more helpful because then i can just you know scan the pieces a lot quicker it's a lot easier on my eyes just trying to figure out you know what i'm looking for instead of trying to scan chaos so yeah i definitely found that helpful um, and kind of necessary in trying to be able to find certain pieces that I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say about sort of the image and the challenge of it and that sort of thing. So let's talk about the quality. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the quality so far, really having a great puzzling experience with it. So as you can probably tell, it's completely matte. So that's been fantastic. Not had any glare or sheen, very happy with that. And of course it feels very nice, very luxe with that lovely soft touch finish. And then uh, as for piece fit, when it comes to piece variation, surprisingly, uh, even though we have irregular pieces here and I said, oh, there's irregular pieces, so we have lots of variation in shapes. We shouldn't really have any false fits, I don't think. Well, I was wrong. There were definitely a few false fits, not heaps, just a few, a handful. Um, so that was sort of interesting and kind of a little surprising, actually. I didn't expect to have false fits, but yeah, there were. And uh, yeah, it just took me by surprise, I guess. Um, but it wasn't a huge deal like eventually I'd figure out like oh that doesn't actually really go there or that doesn't those patterns don't quite line up or something like that and would soon realize like things are in the wrong spot but yeah still sort of surprised and kind of find it interesting that uh, you know you would have expected with so much piece variation that you wouldn't have as many false fits but not always the case so there you go um, but then when it comes to the tightness of the pieces, it's quite a comfortable fit. Everything fits really well together. It's really a lovely fit. And if you've got small sections like this, you can definitely pick them up pretty easily. You can see it's a little bit loose, but you can still move around smallish sections. I think um, I did have 
uh, less success picking up like, you know, like a big section like this because it's a bit heavier, then the pieces tend to crumble a bit more. So that's a little bit hit and miss. Um, and then if, it come, if we like come over here to the corner, I guess, oh, well, okay, that answers that question. I guess maybe you can't do a puzzle pickup or maybe if you're gentle. So again, that uh, do a puzzle pickup at your own <laughs> risk, I guess. I'm, I'm not feeling brave enough to do one, but I guess if you go want to challenge yourself or you're feeling really brave, uh, go for it, <laughs> but maybe be careful as you do so. Um, and then what else? Uh, the piece quality has been excellent. I don't really recall coming across any bent or damaged pieces. Everything seems in really nice condition. So quite impressed with that as well. Yeah, everything is looking beautiful. And there's only a tiny bit of puzzle dust. Uh, let's see, you can probably see a few specks here and there, but it's pretty minor. Like there's a little bit, and yeah, a few here, but it's, yeah, been pretty minor. My hands don't feel particularly dusty. Um, and it hasn't bothered me at all. So yeah, totally fine with that. No problems at all. So I think that's all I pretty much have to say about the quality and the image and like sort of challenge level overall. Yeah, really enjoying it. And I'm definitely keen to get back into it. So uh, I'll see you once the puzzle's done. I'm back and I finished the puzzle and I really love how it's turned out. I think it looks so cool. I really love this style of art. It's just so bold and graphic with the like thick black lines and the bright vivid splashes of color and patterns. And yeah, it's really cool. And definitely my kind of puzzle design, that's for sure. It was definitely uh, more on the challenging side though. So because the image is quite abstract with sort of lines and colors and patterns everywhere, when you look at an individual piece, it's quite tricky to figure out where it goes just because you've got like greens in lots of places and blues in lots of places, that sort of thing. And I also mentioned earlier that I found the uh, irregular piece shapes a bit tricky to figure out where they go as well, but I kind of liked that challenge. It was like a puzzle within a puzzle with having my brain try to figure out what shape and piece goes next. So yeah, I quite enjoyed it. I found those irregular pieces quite interesting and fun and just, yeah, overall made the puzzling experience more enjoyable. So let's quickly recap about the piece quality. So I really like the soft touch surface. It feels really luxurious and just really nice. And it's completely matte as well. So when doing the puzzle, you don't have to worry about any glare or sheen. And also means uh, if you want to take nice photos and videos, you can do that without any glare or sheen as well. So fantastic. And then when it comes to the uniqueness of the piece fit, surprisingly, there were still a few false fits, not too many, just like a few. Um, I just thought there weren't gonna be any uh, because of the irregular pieces combined with this sort of busy detailed image. But yeah, surprisingly, there were a few, but they weren't really a problem. I quickly figured out where the pieces actually went um, and it didn't really bother me too much at all. Um, but yeah, just something of interest to note, I guess, because it sort of took me by surprise a little bit. And then when it comes to the tightness of the pieces or how they fit together, I think it's a fairly comfortable fit. Uh, if I picked up small sections, they held together pretty well. Large sections got started getting a little bit crumbly, probably just because of the weight of the pieces. And then I guess if 
maybe if you're careful uh, or gentle, you might be able to do a puzzle pickup, but pieces also can be a little crumbly at times too. So yeah, a little bit hit and miss with the puzzle pickup, I think. Um, but that's kind of good too, because it means when taking apart the puzzle, the pieces come apart nice and easily without damaging the other pieces around them. So yeah, I don't mind that at all. Um, and like I said, I was still able to pick up small sections for the most part. So yeah, pleased with the fit. And then when it comes to puzzle dust, there was a little bit, nothing excessive and it didn't bother me at all. So yeah, just totally normal. And then I think the only other thing to really mention is the uh, quality control, which I was very impressed with because I didn't find a single damaged piece that I recall. So yeah, and everything looks beautiful and looks in perfect condition. So yeah, really impressed with that. Overall, I really loved both this puzzle and the best friends puzzle, which I did over on Instagram. I absolutely love the artwork on both. It's so colorful and bold and vibrant, very me puzzles, that's for sure. And I enjoyed the quality of both as well. I just thought it was at a very high standard and just made for a very positive puzzling experience. I would have to rate this puzzle a smidgen higher than the best friends one, which is from last year's collection, just because uh, it has the lovely soft touch surface, which one feels very luxe and fancy, but two is completely matte. So I just enjoyed that. I didn't have to worry about any glare or sheen on the puzzle. So that was really nice. Whereas uh, this one did have a little bit and you know, it would just depend on your lighting, how much sheen or glare you experience. So yeah, just something to note the difference between them, I guess. But yeah, really love them both and would totally recommend either or both of these gorgeous designs. And of course, if there's any uh, others in the Apiece range, I definitely recommend giving those a go as well. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of this puzzle. And if you get a chance to check out their other designs on their website, then let me know which one you'd love to try. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. And for more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.